Okay, friends, we're now going to do a picture of us um, flying in the sky. You're going to draw a figure of you. That means it's going to have your face and body. And then it, later on, we'll be practicing with watercolor and mixing watercolor to create our sky. So what you're going to do first is we're going to start with the head, and it's going to come up a little bit above you know, a little bit below the top of the paper, and that's gonna be an oval. And remember, you don't wanna to draw too small. We are then gonna draw the um, facial features. Now the hair we're gonna save for later, so don't draw that yet. The facial features, the eyes, your eyes always fall in the middle of your head, and I'm gonna do my eyes closed. So in the middle of my head, I'm gonna do downwards curves with little lashes. Above that, I'm gonna do an upwards curve for the eyebrow. And then the nose, I'm gonna do another downwards curve that's little. And then another bigger upwards curve for my mouth because I'm smiling. Now below my head, I'm gonna draw a rectangle. And I'm gonna draw another rectangle for the body. So I'm gonna come out and All right, and then friends, for the legs, I'm gonna draw some more smaller rectangles. Now, if you're wearing pants, you're gonna keep it like that. But if you're like me and you have a skirt or dress on, you would just kind of draw your dress and then erase the part of the legs that are inside your dress. Or if you're wearing shorts, you could just draw lines like this across to show you're wearing shorts. For our feet, we're gonna do ovals that go this way on each side. And then for our arms, you're gonna find the corner of your rectangle. You're gonna draw a line and another line under it that's the same length. You're gonna do the same thing on this corner, another line, and try to keep these, try to keep your arms about the same length. Now, hands can be very challenging. So when you go to do your hands, if you have to simplify it and do less fingers, you can. If you were to look at the illustrations in, um, the P in uh, Peter Ren Reynolds' book, you would notice he doesn't always draw every finger. He, can, he simplifies it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to draw one, two, three, four, five, if you can. If not, then just do three or four fingers. All right, friends, so now you're gonna add your hair. Now our hair always falls a little bit down into our head. If you have bangs, you're gonna draw straight up and down lines, but if you're like me and you just have a part, you're just gonna do some curves that come from the top and come inwards. We're gonna draw some ears too. You're gonna do some C shapes on each side of the head with another little curve on the inside. And then think about the length of your hair. Mrs. Plummer's hair is pretty long, so I am going to draw my hair the length it is. It's got a little bit of a wave to it, but it's not too curly. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some detail into my outfit. So maybe I'm wearing shorts. I have my pant line here. Do not need to copy me. Maybe I have a pocket on my shirt. So go ahead and add some details in your shirt and your pants to separate it from your body. Okay, so now that we have that done, I am going to color in my person. And when we do this, we're gonna create a resist. So you wanna push kind of hard. I'm gonna start with my face and my arms and legs. And then I'll go in and I will start to color the rest of the shapes. So my neck too, I know I need my skin tone for that. Now notice friends, I'm outlining the shape first and then filling it in. I do like to color in circles just to help stain the lines when I have a round object and when I have a straight object like this leg here, because I did shorts, I go in and instead of circles, I color up and down. So I do up and down coloring for flat shapes and circles for rounded shapes and I'm going to push hard on that crayon.